In the video today, I want to show you how to pair the Samsung Galaxy Ring to any Android phone. Just about any Android phone. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing you'll need to do is on your Android phone, go to the Play Store and you'll need to search for the wearable app, the Samsung wearable app. So we're going to go to search. I'm going to tap on the uh, microphone and just say Samsung wearable. Samsung wearable app. There we go. This is the app right here. We're going to tap install. And just for reference, I'll be installing the ring on my Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. All right. We're going to hit open. Next, make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on. Here's my Bluetooth icon. It's lit up so I know my Bluetooth is turned on. Okay. Now I'm going to hit start so that the app will begin to look for the ring. And so this is interesting. It's already showing the ring, which is great. Now, for those of you that have uh, just opened your ring for the first time, it's not going to show up right away. And this is why you will need to take the charger out of the box and you'll need to connect the ring to the charger on the back. And this will power on the ring and the case. So if you don't see the ring right away, that's the step you want to take. Plug in the case to power and simply open it up. You should see it light up and that will put the ring in pairing mode. Now I'm going to tap on Galaxy Ring. And here it's asking, do you want to pair the ring? I'm going to turn this on and hit pair. And let's walk through the different setup steps that you will see. And I'll just explain everything it's going to ask you. So next, it will ask you to install a second app, which is called the Galaxy Ring Plugin. So press OK. And it's going to grab this app. We're going to now install this app on the phone. And install this pretty quick. OK, now we're going to go back to the Galaxy Wearable app. And then here we go. After a couple of seconds, it will then ask you to sign into your Samsung account. Now, for those of you that are not familiar, this is a free account offered by Samsung, and it's basically what syncs all of your information. It's just how iPhones have an Apple ID. This is a Samsung account. So you, you'll want to sign in, and I'm not, I'm not sure if you can even use it if you don't create an account. So take a minute, if you don't have one, create an account and sign in. Okay, once you sign in, it is going to send a ping alert to your phone and you will need to accept the ping. It's basically confirming that you are the account holder and if you are the account holder, you should have another device that you can use to confirm the ping. Okay, next we need to accept the wearable terms and conditions. And so just simply check the boxes. Um, these two are optional, so anything that's not mandatory I don't check usually we'll press allow settings we need to give permission I believe it's the nearby permission there we go oh this one is also optional hit continue it says to locate your ring you'll need to allow it to access your location so yeah go to settings permissions go to location and hit uh, allow. Now the reason you would turn this on is because if you ever lost your ring, then you can track the ring using the wearable app. So we're hitting continue and hit allow. And now it's gonna take a few more seconds to just sync up the information. Okay, next we need to install a third app, which is the Samsung Health app. So I'm gonna tap install. There we go. There's our Samsung Health app, and we're just going to hit install. All these apps are free, and they should install relatively quickly. Okay, so now the Samsung Health app is installed, and we're going to go back to the wearable app here and hit next. It's going to give you some information about some of the things you can do. So this is talking about how it helps you to get better sleep and kind of understanding your sleep stats. You can have it track your daily activities, so calories burnt, your steps, um, your active minutes. It can also give you uh, health alerts if your heart rate drops below a certain 
rate or it goes too high, you can also have it alert you as well. It also has workout tracking, so I can work, I can work out and it will track, you know, everything that I did uh, just using the ring. I will say it's not as extensive as the watch, but it does track a lot, so I've been happy with it thus far. So here it's trying to show you, in terms of putting the ring on, you'll want to make sure that you put it on your pointer finger and you'll want um, this little dash in the front here, you'll want it to face you, okay? This is how to get the most optimum tracking is to have it on that index finger and have that little dash pointing forward, okay? Hit next and we're basically just about done with the setup. There we go, we are now all set. So this is the main screen of the profile, and um, I'm going to stop here, but I have a separate video that I'll be going over the ring in full detail. So all the beginner information will teach you um, how to use the tracking and all those details. So I will link that video up here when it comes out, and you can learn more information on just what the ring can do for you. All right. If you got value out of this video, make sure you bump that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos. If you don't have a Galaxy Ring yet and you're considering buying one, I'll link one on screen right here as well. You can pick up one using the link and by you purchasing it through our video, it helps the channel just a bit to help with paying bills and allows us to help continue to put out quality content. All right, so uh, consider that. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.